Good morning, High Park students. It is Tanya the Snack Lady, and uh, we are back again after the March break. I hope you had a wonderful break. And um, it's been actually a long break since we had snack because the last time um, I brought some food, it was for the great big crunch. I hope you enjoyed that. So because we've been away so long, I know you've all been very excited to hear the results of the great carrot debate. So um, we tried two kinds of carrots a few weeks ago. One type was baby carrots and one type was cut up carrots, cut up big carrots. And uh, drum roll please. The winner of the great carrot debate by a very, very, very small margin was the cut up carrots. So parents, if you're hearing this at home, stop buying the baby carrots and send cut up carrots because kids prefer them. All right. So for this week, our snack is kiwi fruit. Mm. Kiwi fruit's delicious, um, but a lot of people haven't tried it before. So if you haven't, I hope you feel a little adventurous today and um, go ahead and try some. Kiwi fruit's delicious and really, really good for your immune system. So I know a lot of people are getting cold and flus this time of year. Uh, kiwi fruit is great for helping to prevent that. Um, and a little bit of history about the kiwi fruit. It was originally, so most of the kiwis get, we get now are come from Australia or New Zealand. But kiwi fruit originally came from China and was um, exported for growing in Australia and New Zealand. And it was called the Chinese gooseberry. But when New Zealand wanted to export it to the rest of the world, there was a big tax on berries. And so like, hmm, we have to change the name of this so we don't have to pay this big tax. And the national bird of New Zealand is the kiwi bird, which is also small and brown and fuzzy. And so they decided to call the kiwi fruit the kiwi. I hope you enjoy it. And um, I will see you next week. Back for snack.